Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, this is just a treasure hunt video. I don't have, I didn't have the time to do uh, a, a Bitcoin prediction, so I'm not going to do any chart analysis. But I will just strictly do a chart. Um, I'm sorry, a treasure hunt, and um, I'm getting pretty busy uh, now that this whole scaling debate is winding down. Um, the Civil War is winding down and it seems to be pretty much uh, SegWit will be implemented. Um, I'm, I'm getting busy, so my winter vacation uh, may be over, so uh, please enjoy this treasure hunt, alright? And so, um, let me go do comments here real quick. Let me see here. Uh, Alright, so I'll go over that a little bit. So I'm going to go over the, the treasure hunt. And uh, Oliver Williams, uh, thank you for being such a good uh, subscriber. And uh, you you said here, I'll go over the comments here, this is on the recent video of uh, Bitcoin Prediction, Keep the Faith, uh, my latest video, uh, the previous video of, of this video, basically. Um, I already tried adding Africa yesterday, but it didn't work. And my reply was, uh, you must have missed a clue, or maybe you misspelled, uh, someone already swept the Bitcoin already. Um, and he says, great chart analysis, by the way. And I said, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, and, of course, uh, this is the, um, this is it here. Let me go ahead and refresh it. Um, nothing to refresh. It's already swept. So there's no balance in here. And it wasn't me. All right. So uh, I took out the $2. Okay. $2.75. And... Uh, I'm not sure what time zone this is, but anyways, it was at this time right here, and it took me about two, another two hours to um, upload the video, uh, edit the video to add in the, the the 3D graphics, and then finally publish it. So if you look at it, this was uh, four, five, six. So uh, about an hour into the video, seven, seven thirty. So between four thirty, put add two hours. It was about six thirty. It was uploaded, and about an hour later, after the video was published, someone swept the keys. So uh, I don't know what to say, Oliver. Someone beat you to it. And uh, I did do it late at night, but. Um, if you're kind of wondering, if you're wondering what the um, what the password was, I'm going to show it to you right now with the private key. Let me see here. It's yeah. So here it is. Gosh darn it. There we go. So there you go. If you want to check it out, that was the here's a private key with the passcode. And as you can tell, if you look at that passcode, it's um, and oftentimes I missed the dollar sign. And I'm looking at it, right? And I and I, and I made the passcode. Uh, I missed the dollar sign. I missed the at symbol. So um, I'd highly recommend you get a mycelium wallet where you can display the password, and that way you can double check that the password is correct. But you were right about the last passcode, last clue being Africa, as you see right there. So in this episode, I'm going to go over the treasure hunt and start another one um, so let me go back to comments here so uh, I don't know who swept the keys I don't know who swept the Bitcoin but uh, the unknown person is now the greatest hacker in the world unfortunately Oliver you have lost that title but I will give you the honorable mention because you, you, you did guess the last clue uh, you just must have missed, misspelled it somehow, because here here it is. I'll show it to you one more time. 
uh, go ahead and check it. Maybe that's what you put in. Maybe that's what you didn't put in. But but I'll give you honorable mention because you did figure out that last clue. You could have won it five bucks. You should have tried over again, rechecked your spelling, um, make sure you got all the clues. But maybe next time. Maybe next time. I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. That's all I can say. <laughs> Nothing I can do. Somebody else beat you to it. So, so in this episode, I'll go over the passcode because it was right in front of you all this time, hidden in plain sight. So, uh, here's the part where Adam asked the panels about uh, whether Segwit will get past and to predict the price. I'll go ahead and play it out. I think I got the sound on. Two months from today, will. Litecoin have implemented segregated witness, and what will the price of Litecoin be? James Bond, what do you think the answer is to that question? Uh, I think the answer is is going to be yes. Uh, like I said, it's free software development. It's going to drive a lot, and I think the miners, I think they know that, so they'll they'll do it. Maybe they'll even cash out on a on a rising price. Um, you think? How long? Wait a second. It's kind of dropping out on you there. Give us your price prediction. Oh, price prediction. Yes. yes. I I don't do chart analysis on Litecoin, but um, I think it's four dollars. Mm -hmm. I, I would just say double the price, eight. Uh, Shane, what's your, what's your prediction there? And will it be implemented in two months? What, what will the uh, dollar amount be? Oh, I can't really say how much, how long it's going to take them, but I'll make a prediction that I'm not going to stand for and say it's going to be worth a thousand dollars in two months. No, oh, come on now. <laughs> well, people, that's the thing. People, people love that kind of thing. That's what I, I, I understand why you want, people don't want to answer this question. It's, it's so, you know, it's so hard to predict. And so much can go wrong. They've had some. You know, they when they were spreading the word about it, there was some miscommunication, misunderstanding. All right, so I'll just stop it. But did you notice that I'm the only one that was confident enough to say yes, SegWit will be implemented, and I and I was pretty much the only one that was confident enough to actually make a real prediction and not just guess. So uh, there you go. So the first two uh, part of the of the first part was. Um, did, you know, Adam asked if segregated witness would be implemented in two months. Uh, let me see, what is it? That's uh, February 3rd. Today is April the 17th. Or let me see, what is today's date? Uh, April the 12th. So not quite two months, but pretty darn close. And we're really close to it. We got two more weeks to go to uh, implement segregated witness on Litecoin. And then he also asked to predict the price. And uh, uh, what was my answer here? Hold on here. So it was what? Eight dollars. Eight dollars. I'm the I'm the only one that actually said it. Eight dollars, right? And and when the price of Litecoin went up, eight dollars. That was the signal, people. That was the signal. So if you all watch that, and you know people gave me a lot of crap about that after the show what uh, uh, about the price of litecoin going up but there you go you if you know who you are you you were there you saw the video anyways and then as for the other clues here i'll show you on um the twitter page let me see is i believe it's this one okay so uh, i pretty much pointed that out to you didn't i the at symbol Right, the at symbol before tick bolt is right there, right? You see it? At tick bolt. And then I just said, okay, what's uh, <laughs> what's after the at symbol, which would be tick bolt, just like it's spelled, tick bolt. And then uh, what else did I say? I said, uh, uh, what year did Adam Meister join Twitter? 2009. Uh, I believe that information is... Uh, is right there, right there. So, so here's the first. Here's the part at Tech Bolt, 2009. Right, and then of course.
course, the continent. What continent is this? And proper noun, Africa, right here. It even says Africa. So uh, there you go. There is a clue. Go ahead and scan this and verify yourself. In order for me to do all this, I had to create this before. All right, before I made the video to show you the private key and everything, and then um, I scanned it and then also transferred it out and so whoever is the winner of this particular uh, there it is um, 48 cents I don't know what wallet they were using but they just swept it out let's follow it and uh, that's where it's been it has not moved so uh, enjoy you've earned it you beat out Oliver Williams um, he's kind of disappointed because he was right about the last clue he just didn't enter it in right I mean the whole passphrase so okay so there you go that's the end of that clue and then now I have a new one which is an empty wallet again password protected BIP38 alright and um, let me see, this one's going to be about Ricky Spagni. So that's that right there. So Rick, Ricardo, Ricardo Spagni. So if you go to his Twitter page, you'll, um, all the, all the clues are there. I'm not going to give you any on this one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to load the wallet right here, this empty wallet which I got ready and then uh, I'm going to pull from okay I'm going to pull from this to this wallet right here there we go okay uh, so that is the current new treasure hunt uh, I'm a little exhausted I've been doing things and I'm, I'm getting busy so my winter break is is over it's time to it's time for me to get things done around here so now that the whole scaling debate is well there was no scaling debate people there never was a scaling debate so now that we know that this is not about scaling uh, I'm sure we can we all know what to do from this point on okay so let me um, give you the new private key okay so this is the new private key people the new private key right here go ahead and scan that okay and then uh, let me cut out and now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get my wallet ready to uh, make that transfer all right uh, here I am uh, and here it is from cold storage so I'm gonna just go ahead and push send and uh, let me see here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and send it to the new treasure hunt wallet. Just scan the QR code. So here's the new treasure hunt wallet. There we go. That's the correct address key. Yep, that sure is. Let me enter an amount. Let me see. What am I going to do? Yes, $25. $25. Okay. So let's see what the fee is. That's a normal $0.37. Cents for normal. Priority $45. $27 for three hours. Um, yeah, let's just do that. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and send it. There you go. Uh, basically I use mycelium wallet to do that and you notice that there's a zero balance that's because I spent from my cold storage so if you all feel the need to spend uh, you know 50 to 100 to whatever $200 for a hardware wallet go ahead but I just prefer to use the free wallet generator okay and uh, the free mycelium wallet and just with those two things be able to spend from my
cold storage. Um, let me see here. All right, so let me show you the, uh, okay, let's see if it shows up here. There it is. Okay, there it is. $25. All right. Um, there's a, the new uh, treasure hunt wallet. Um, let me give you the private key one more time so uh, you all can see that. There you go. There's a new private key. Go ahead and scan it. And there's no clue. I'm not going to give you any clue. Uh, if you can crack the code right now, $25 worth of Bitcoin is all yours. You can beat everyone to it right now. Okay. Let's see if anybody has any skill. Oliver Williams, you, you have pretty good skill, but you know, not quite. You didn't you didn't quite get it. So let's uh let's okay, bye bye Adam. There we go. Now let's move on to Ricardo Spangni. Spangni. Okay. And so uh, go on his Twitter page. The clue is hidden in plain sight right in front of your face. Okay. Um, matter of fact, take a look at some of his tweets. Uh, actually, I like this one right here. If I, let me click on this one. This is, I thought this was hilarious. Today in Bitcoin, Blockstream invests a billion dollars in baseball cap company. You know, the USFA hats. Um, Oil Panda ate Professor's brain. Why <laughs> he did it? Uh, there is so much. Um, um, speaking of, let me see here. Uh, is it, is it, did I get rid of it? No. Okay. So uh, this is Shane. Let me see if if Shane will. Shane was just talking. Let me see if I can get him on camera here. Just get him on camera. Real two quick. months. What, what will the uh, dollar amount be? Oh, I can't really say how much, how long. All right, this is Shane, the independent optimist. He actually made a video talking about mimetic warfare. <laughs> I thought that was the silliest video I've ever seen, but there may be some truth to it. Um, and I and I joked around with him in the in, in the comments uh, about troll medic warfare people cyber warfare where people meme each other to to ridicule and demoralize the other side to the point where they're not willing they're, they're willing to give up whatever they're trying to do um, and I and I joked around with him about troll medic warfare where you just troll other people to oblivion to make them feel stupid and silly and um, to again demoralize them and in some ways to make them feel foolish um, because you know one side is telling the truth the other side is lying as far as I can tell uh, if you've seen some of my videos where I did a reading on Roger Veer uh, let's let's just go to that real quick as a matter of fact um, let me see here uh, where is it uh, let's go to my channel and uh, let me see, where is the videos? Let me see, what, uh, where was it? Oh, yes. Okay, so this one right here. Uh, Bitcoin prediction 50, an interview with Roger Veer about, what was it about? Uh, about scaling debate, March 20th, 2017, part one. Uh, in that particular episode, I examined and did a reading on Roger Veer regarding uh, when he had an interview with uh, Mad Bitcoins. Um, he was lying. And I, and I told you that. And now in the light of ASIC boost coming out and everything, it, it, 
how just everything makes sense. And of course, Roger Ver was lying. All right, especially when he was saying that uh, the man, man uh, malleable. Sorry, he was saying that larger block size was more important than the uh, malleability uh, exploit. Um, and he was just straight out lying on that, and he knew he was lying. Okay. So, and then uh, after that, I did a reading on Peter Todd, which is this video right here, Wizards of Bitcoin, Bitcoin Prediction 51, where I said, there's nothing for me to read because he was telling the truth. Okay. So, you, you know, there is... There's just weird nonsense going on, and uh, the internet is just rampant f like this, you know. With this, and it's just not the internet, you know. Uh, the internet is just a reflection of reality, just online. So in reality, a lot of things like this are going on, where people are literally being um, brainwashed, um, manipulated, and so. Uh, just keep that in mind when when you go and you know look into this stuff. You're being manipulated. You're being brainwashed. You're being you know conned in a lot of ways, scammed. Uh, but not for your bitcoins or anything, but for your beliefs. All right. So anyway, I thought this was funny, and you know, there's this whole thing about uh, a troll army. Is there such a thing as a troll army? I mean, I, I just made that up on one of Shane's comments because I thought his memetic warfare video was just ridiculous. But I think there's something to it. But as is there really a troll army? I don't think so. Okay, I mean, people think I'm a troll. Here's the weird part. I'm just a regular person. Check this out. I'm just a regular person. All right? And if I am just doing this, and I'm able to get to you, that tells me you have a weak mind, all right? And you have a weak constitution, and that you're easily controllable from a, from a distance, from someone who's just typing on a computer. You're easily influenced, mind-controlled. Which, by the way, I do somewhat specialize in that. I did mention NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming. Uh, so I think there's some truth to memetic warfare and also troll medic warfare, but only to the weak-minded. Because if you know if you know anything about neuro linguistic programming, uh, you can't do anything against your own will. It is only people who have a weak will, a weak constitution, a weak mind that are easily controlled. Think of it as like a, a, a Jedi kind of trick that you can control the minds of the weak. In a lot of ways, that is true. So think about that, people. Anyways, I thought this was funny. Check, check it out. It's, it's, you know, he has a tweet on it or he, he retweeted it. Anyways, uh, all the clues are on his Twitter page, hidden in plain sight, right in front of your face. So if you want the $25, let's see if it, nope, still hasn't confirmed yet. If you want that $25, break the code, and it's all yours. Uh, I haven't given you any clue. If you're that good, $25 is yours. So, um, Oliver Williams, I wish you the best. You came very close, but you should have checked your spelling. You probably missed something. And to the unknown uh, winner, um, you are now the world's greatest hacker, whoever you are. So, uh, that concludes this episode. Feel free to like, dislike, Leave a comment, uh, even do a video response. Until next time, stay tuned. Bye.